Hey y'all, this is Jamie Fry with Burrow Brand Sawhorses. Great to have you here today. Um, today, uh, we're gonna basically go through a, a workstation build where I'm gonna use my chop saw to uh, mend the fence. We're on a ranch out in Hamul, California. A friend of mine, Travis Conley, uh, offered up his ranch to us um, to be able to kind of get, get some of our sawhorse uses uh, and, and see what they're like out in the field or out on a open ranch. Um, he's with uh, SoCal Cabinets. Thank you, Travis, for, for allowing us to do this. Um, so first of all, uh, Burrow Brand Sawhorses, we have been in business for over 50 years making sawhorses and not too long ago we got this folding sawhorse from a, a gentleman that uh, got a patent on it and it is a wood folding sawhorse which just seems crazy because there's metal ones, there's plastic ones, there's all kinds of stuff out there. And uh, we do the wood permanent sawhorse which we've done forever but this give, gives us the opportunity to kind of compete against the other guys and so this station, th this station that I'm creating today is, is a, a, just a pop-up workstation. If you have your sawhorses out somewhere, you always got your folding sawhorses um, broken down and ready to do your work. You got your tools. This is just, hey, I need to create a station and uh, let's, 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 you got screws, you got scrap wood. Here we have the, the sawhorses turning into whatever you may need. So on this one, it's gonna be a chop saw station. Um, I, I basically am creating a work table first in an unlevel ground, uh, on unlevel ground, which the sawhorses can kind of be adjusted and set up to be able to use. So um, first of all, I screw screw a nice big flat it could be anything uh I'm, I'm using a piece of pine here uh one by 12 piece of pine and um i screw it down to the top of the sawhorse which you can, you're not going to be able to do the metal you're not going to be able to do the plastic take a long time that's the beauty of a wood sawhorse that's why i've always uh, i know i'm selling the sawhorses but i've fallen in love with them because the versatility of them as long as you've got a screw gun nail hammer screws, you can attach stuff to them to make it secure and create whatever you want. Build up uh, levels of, you know, height to be able to. So in this one, I'm going to adjust the side feed tables, the tables where your material sticks out to so it doesn't fall off your chop saw if you cut it. Um, I'm going to adjust the level of those with just scrap pieces of wood to be even with the material, if it's a long piece of material, so it doesn't just fall off. So I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that at this moment. Uh, I have, first I'm attaching the, saw, the chop saw to the top of, um, to the top of the little workstation thing that I first created in the middle. And now I noticed that my saw is on level or, or I'm sorry, lean into the back, the weight of it might tip back and fall over. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut a couple pieces of wood here um, and pop them under the legs in the back uh, where the chop saw's sitting. So it'll bring it, bring it closer to level. It doesn't have to be perfectly level. If you want it, you can. But this just makes it a little more secure. Um, so when I'm cutting and chopping, you know, chopping the big pieces of wood that I'm gonna cut on here for this fence, uh, it's it's a little more safe and secure. So once I get that level, now I'm going to start working on my side feed tables, uh, or side feed um, supports, which is mainly the sawhorse, brings you pretty close to level, and now you just need some scrap pieces of wood, anything you can get your hands on that you can attach to the sawhorse to create that, that level. Um, close to that level it doesn't have to be perfect so see I got a long board across the across the uh, chop saw uh, the table of the chop saw and now I'm adding pieces of wood in um, to get it up to be level with that piece of material and so um, then I can actually screw them down 
to the sawhorse, so it makes it, it the sawhorse and the weight of that wood can still make it kind of secure. And it's on also on level ground, but I'm making it all work. Um, uh, this is just one of the many things you can do do with it. The wood sawhorses, like I said, are so versatile um, uh, that it, it just it's it's it makes it easy to create and build anything that you want. So this is just a small a small version of it um, with not very many tools, just some screws, screw gun, uh, skill saw. Um, we could make uh, a workstation just to hold the big logs. Right in, in this in this situation, we have these big uh, kind of small small log that we use as um, fence posts. And it's a pretty large piece of material. So our sawhorses hold, you know, 10,000 pounds. These suckers, we have, we have tested them at a testing site. And um, if you just put, we, we use a 12 inch press, right? They use a 12 inch press and, a, and a, a flat metal table. And they start pressing down in the middle. That's the first thing they test is right in the middle of the sawhorses, 12 inches wide. And as it presses down, the first time it breaks, they mark it down. And so on these, uh, these folding sawhorses with that I-beam in the middle, it adds a little extra strength. They broke about 3,500 pounds right in the middle of the um, plywood uh, bar. And then we added a big full four by four piece on top uh, it's a real four by four, not a three and a half by three and a half, but a real four by four over the whole back of the, the top of the sawhorse and then put the press on it and it went up to 10,000 pounds. So that is a lot of weight. Um, I don't know many sawhorses that can handle that. Uh, the important part is that the little latches where the screw and the latch get attached to keep the legs from falling out. They didn't even move, nothing happened on them. I, I expected that to pull apart, break, whatever, um, bend, but none of that happened. The only thing that broke was again, the middle of the plywood cracked. And so the, the, uh, th this uh, amazing sawhorse is so strong and so versatile with the wood that it's, it's, hard. it's, it's hard to find one that'll equal it. Um, uh, I'm about done with this table here. Uh, the levels on the side, I'm just screwing in. I'm just screwing in the, um, the leveling blocks that I put under there and I'm about ready to cut some wood and it took me all of maybe 10 minutes. It was, it was pretty quick. Um, uh, what I do come to find is I wanted a, a back area behind the chop saw to hold my material, which you can create. So with the length of that sawhorse, you could add another piece of wood off the top that goes farther back that could um, uh, hold your material up so you're not always having to go somewhere else to grab your material. It's right there on the back. So that's what I'm, I'm creating back here is, is supports to put a longer piece and um, be able to hold the material that I'm about to cut. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching our workstation build today. We made a chop saw table, but you, you could actually uh, take the chop saw off, remove it real fast, and use it for multiple things. You could uh, stain on top of there, put a few other blocks, and make it so that your material doesn't fall off, whatever you want. That's the beauty of our wood sawhorse. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget, shop at burrowbrand.com.